Good morning, it's Monday and it's really sunny out today. The sky is so blue. I just made myself a quick avocado toast and a latte, which is what I normally eat for breakfast. For some reason, I always wake up feeling starving in the morning. Today, I did a Pilates workout, so maybe that's also why I was extra hungry, but I just ate my entire breakfast and I'm gonna get to work now. It's 12 and I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go to the Japanese grocery store down the street and just pick up some snacks. The sun is so nice right now, so I'm excited. It's finally lunchtime, and for lunch I'm gonna be eating a leftover kimchi jjigae that I made this past weekend. It just has like zucchini, onions, a lot of tofu. Originally I put chicken in it, but I finished all the chicken. They were like drumsticks, so, so tofu's the only protein. And then I have my freshly cooked rice. Eating leftovers is one of my favorite types of meals because there's no meal prep. I literally just have to heat up the food and usually when I cook a meal, it lasts me like two or three meals, which is great efficiency. Mm. Hello, I changed back into my t-shirt because the sun gets pretty hot in the afternoon. I washed some grapes as a post-lunch snack. Love to finish my meals with some fruit. But I've been working for a while now. It's 2.30 and I'm ready for my second coffee. and I'm uh, making another little snack. The crackers that I bought today at the Japanese market. These are one of my favorite snacks of all time. Pouring it out into a bowl so I can control my portions and not devour the entire bag. Mm-hmm. 
like to make a smoothie around midday, mid-afternoon when I'm starting to feel hungry but I'm not quite ready for dinner yet. Hello, it's 6.30 p.m. and I have some friends coming over to cook dinner with me tonight. So I'm gonna clean the apartment up a little bit and they'll be here really soon. Yay, we're making Mapo tofu for dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jamie style. Jamie's cut shots. Cornstarch clear? I do, it's on the top shelf. Good morning. I feel like there's always a correlation between the weather and whether or not I'm able to get out of bed on time as planned. And today is quite cloudy out, so it's probably why I didn't make my seven o'clock alarm. It's day two of the week. It's around 8.30 and I'm about to go on my run and then I'm gonna make breakfast. We're starting a new bag of beans today. This is my favorite from Stumptown. This is the one I finished. It's from Birch. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. I just made my breakfast this little yogurt bowl. And it's just cashew milk yogurt with granola, chia seeds, blueberries, and honey. And my latte. Can't go without the latte. I'm starting work now and I'll check back in for lunch. Just got some boba. This is the taro boba from Joy Tea Shop in New York. Really good. Washed some grapes. 
little mid-afternoon snack. It's seven o'clock, time to start cooking dinner, and tonight we're cooking for four. I actually had a little bit of practice because I think I'm gonna make a similar pasta to the one I ate for lunch, but with a little extra pancetta. I added some pancetta and campari tomatoes. This is the final product. There is a Michelin chef, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and Karen will come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long is summer break? Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. All the spots are so cool. It's nine o'clock. We were up pretty late last night doing a girl's night. We had a charcuterie and wine night. So I ate so much cheese and crackers, which is always good, but I woke up super full this morning. So I'm not eating breakfast, but drinking a lot of water. I just made myself an iced Americano, the fave. That's all I'm gonna eat this morning, I think. Starting to get hungry, but it's not quite lunchtime yet, so I just made a little protein smoothie and I'm gonna keep working until lunchtime. For lunch, I just heated up some leftovers. So I have this, and it's just a braised beef and bok choy gamban noodle with like chili oil and stuff. And then I have the leftover mapo tofu that we made the other night, and I'm just gonna mix this into the noodles, and that will be my lunch. so cloudy out today and I'm getting sleepy again so I just made myself a matcha this is using the matcha that I brought back from Japan it's six o'clock which means it's dinner time and I'm actually going climbing in about 30 minutes so I made a pretty light dinner I have some leftover pasta topped with a little dollop of ricotta and then I just made myself some avocado toast with a fried egg. I'm actually running a little late, so I'm gonna eat really quickly and then head to a climbing gym. Good morning, it's another gloomy day in the city. Unfortunately, it's only been sunny like one day of this week, but I woke up ravenous this morning, I think because I climbed for because I climbed for like three hours last night and ate dinner before that so I didn't eat much when I came home. So I'm gonna make a really big breakfast but my goal for breakfast is to always keep the prep under around 10 minutes. I feel like breakfast is kind of just the meal in preparation for lunch. So if I'm gonna cook a full lunch, I don't wanna spend that much time on breakfast. So I think I'm gonna make some pan scrambled eggs with tomatoes and an avocado toast.
This is the completed breakfast. I have my avocado toast, some balsamic scrambled eggs, and balsamic tomatoes. I'm making this pour over coffee that I got from Japan. They come in these little packets and you just take it out and put it over the cup like this. And then you rip the top open and you just slowly pour the hot water into the center. I've been working for a few hours and I need just a little snack. So I'm gonna pour myself a little bit of this to keep me going. I pour it into a small dish so that I can portion control. For lunch today, I made a really simple rice bowl because I'm quite busy. I took some canned salmon, mixed it together with kewpie mayo and sriracha. Then I have half an avocado and a good bunch of sauteed spinach with garlic. And I just sprinkled some furikake over the top and everything is served over some rice. A nice big bite with a little bit of everything. I just washed my hair. I'm honestly running out of groceries, but I always have my frozen fruits. So I made a protein smoothie to supplement my run that I did this morning. It was so beautiful outside. The flowers are finally coming out in Central Park, which is my favorite time of the year. I'm just gonna drink my protein smoothie and start working. I'm suddenly craving something a little more salty, so I just prepared some leftover cheese from charcuterie night and some multi-grain crackers. It's 12.30, which means it's lunchtime, and for lunch today, I'm gonna to be making another rice bowl. It'll be a pretty healthy bowl, and hopefully very nutritious as well. I just made my lunch. This is what the rice bowl looks like. It's kind of beautiful. It's a rice bowl with sauteed spinach, mushrooms, tomatoes, some fried kimchi, and a delicious soy sauce egg scramble. And I topped it off with my tuna mayo and a little sprinkle of furikake. Get a real job to 
get the cash that I want Cultural. So this that's the cultural revolution in China in 1960. Yeah. Oh, 